What's going on everybody? Welcome back to The Vault. My name is Money and today we are going to be discussing the brand new wave of Funko Soda that was announced today. Uh, Funko Soda reveals are always awesome. I'm, I'm not the biggest Funko Soda collector, but when I see a Funko Soda reveal, I love discussing it because it's always just a, a mishmash of stuff from over here, over there, and the chases always look sick for the most part. There's a few here that I'm kind of meh about. Before we get into it, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so right now. It helps the channel grow and helps me make more content for you all watching at home. So for this wave of soda, we have Gladiator Hulk limited to 15,000 pieces with a chase where the helmet is on. For Masters of the Universe, we have Stinkor limited to 8,000 pieces and the chase is a color variation with no shield. We then have Johnny Rico limited to 8,000 pieces and the chase is covered in mud. We then have a 10,000 piece Baxter Stockman with the glow in the dark chase. From Star Trek, we have Janna and Zahn, both limited to 8,000 pieces, and the chases are evil versions of them. And it wouldn't be a soda reveal without some ad icons. We have Quake limited to 10,000. The chase is Quake holding the cereal box. And then we have a 7,500 piece count Bazooka Joe, and he's blowing a bubble in the chase version. And then lastly, we have a Funko Shop exclusive Steamboat Mickey, limited to 15,000 and the chase is Mickey Mouse whistling. Pretty solid wave all around. You hit all the bases, you know, one animation, one Marvel, uh, a couple ad icons. It's a pretty solid wave. And I think there are some incredible chases. The first chase that I wanted to talk about is the Baxter Stockman, which I think is the standout item of this set. Back in 2017, we had a Baxter Stockman glow in the dark, which was a hard piece count Comic-Con exclusive. And it goes for around $400, I think, or something like that. So it's really cool to see Fungo doing a, a soda version of that chase and i mean teenage mutant ninja turtles is insanely popular there that fan base is so passionate about collectibles for that show so this soda is going to be nuts and the chase is going to be it, it's going to go for a lot of money is what i'm trying to say because the glow is probably going to look fantastic i think the quake soda is also great because he's holding the cereal box in the chase uh they're doing all of these foodie things so I guess it's probably a safe bet that at one point or another we're going to be getting a Quisp and Quake cereal box, whatever the cereal may be. There's a Quisp soda, but I can't remember if that character is holding the cereal box in that chase. But if that's true, then I imagine that these are going to go hand in hand together. If you have the Quisp chase, then you got to have the Quake chase. So again, that's going to be another hot ticket item, I think. The Bazooka Joe is cool. Don't get me wrong. Uh, the blowing the bubble feels like a... I, I don't know. I feel like they could have just made the bubble blowing one the common and not have done a chase to it because it's such a, a minuscule difference. I mean, it's not a color change. It's not a pose change. It's not glow metallic, you know, etc. It's just a simple bubble in the mouth. Pretty, pretty lame. Uh, I would have just have rather than done that as the common, no chase, maybe as a Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, but I mean, at Icon Collectors go nuts for these, so it's going to be popular as well. I'm just now realizing that these are the Wonder Twins. These are not from Star Trek. I'm not going to go back and edit that. I'm going to let people get mad at me in the comments. But these are Jan and Janya. Zan and Janya from the Wonder Twins, which is in Hanna-Barbera animated series, makes a lot more sense than something from Star Trek. I apologize for those Wonder, Wonder Twins fans out there. That was probably very not cool of me. <laughs> So that makes a lot more sense. They each have their fist out because that's what they do to transform, right? And that's them transforming into their alternate appearances. Makes so much more sense now. And I assume people are going to want to get both of them because they're the Wonder Twins. So those chases, again, if you have one of them, just like Quisp and Quake, if you have one of them, you have to have both of them. So, I mean, pre-orders for these things are already sold out. And that makes so much more sense to me than something from Star Trek because I was like, why... Why are the Star Trek sort of sold out? Are there really that many Star Trek fans? I think the real disappointment from this set is the Gladiator Hulk soda because like it would have been awesome for them to have done like there was a Target exclusive kind of black light neon version of the Hulk pop that goes for about 60 bucks or so. And that never happened in the movie. It was just a cool color swap. It, it might have even been part of a T-shirt bundle at one point. Um, but it would have been cool to have seen them do something like that. Maybe have the uh, helmeted version just simply be the common and then like a metallic chase or a glow in the dark chase or a blacklight chase like they did with Mojo Jojo. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like this 
Hulk Soda isn't my favorite. I see a lot of people in the comments freaking out about it and being very excited about it, so I'm super happy for you all. But just personally for me, uh, even though I'm a big superhero fan, I feel like the Hulk Soda is probably my least favorite. And then the runner-up to that would probably be the uh, Stinkor Soda. I don't like Masters of the Universe. It's not my thing. I also imagine that it could have been the inverse, right? Like the shield should have been the chase because a lot of people probably would rather have that as opposed to one without the shield. And then we have the Funko Shop Soda, which is, it's gonna be a nightmare, of course. People see a Funko Shop Soda sold out instantly because people just wanna get their hands on it, you know? You're able to resell a sealed soda for quadruple what you bought it for, why would you not, you know? That's kind of the mentality behind that. And it's frustrating because there are a lot of soda collectors out there. There's a lot of hardcore Disney collectors out there. So to see that go to the Funko Shop is a little, a little frustrating, but if you're trying to get the common, I mean, people are going to be offloading these commons because people are going to be picking up four, five, six of these things, hopefully trying to get their hands on that chase. And then when they get stuck with the commons, they're just going to sell them off, you know? So if you're into the common, you're in luck. But if you're trying to get that chase, it's going to be a little bit more difficult, I think. Now, while I don't collect a lot of Funko Soda, I do appreciate what it is with that blind bag aspect with the chase ratio where it's actually a chase. You don't know what's inside the soda until you open it up, you know? Um, and I like how Funko Soda also kind of picks a little bit of here and a little bit of there as opposed to being here's a full wave of Masters of the Universe Soda, here's a full wave of DC Soda, and that excludes people. With this, even if every person who looks at it sees one soda they're interested in, Funko has done their job of making it inclusive and done their job of making money, which is, of course, what they're trying to do at the end of the day, you know? So for me, I think the only one that I'm definitely going to try and get is the Mickey Mouse Soda, but if I don't get it, I'm not going to be bummed out. I, I pretty much pick up like one soda from each wave. I have Crash Bandicoot back there. I have the Mojo Jojo Soda on the way, just the common. I, I'm not going to pay the money for the chase, but I think this wave of Funko Soda is absolutely sick. I think it's great, and I see a lot of people being like, got to get the Masters, or excuse me, got to get the Wonder Twins, have to get both of the ad icons, and I think that's great because it's a set, you know, it's, it's a little tiny set as, as opposed to getting every Funko Soda, just get the Wonder Twins. As opposed to getting every Funko Soda, just get the ad icons, you know? So again, Funko's doing this right, in my opinion. What do you all think of this brand new wave of Funko Soda? Make sure you like this video down below if you're interested in this wave, and make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite Funko Soda is, whether it's from this wave, whether it's from the first wave. I love to hear everyone's thoughts on Funko Soda. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do it right now helps the channel grow. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to collect what you love, even when what you love is what you think is from Star Trek, but it's actually from Hanna-Barbera. And as always, I'll see you soon.